Hello, Sumner Elementary families. It's Bridger Rinko Smith and Lisa Trigg. And we're going to read Once Upon a Cool Motorcycle Dude. Written and illustrated by Kevin O'Malley. Illustrated by Carol Heyer. And illustrated by Scott Goto. For our library project, we were supposed to tell you our favorite story tale, but we couldn't agree on which story was the best, so we just made one up. Yeah. I'll, I'll begin the story. My beginning is better, but go ahead. Once upon a time, in a castle on a hill, there lived a beautiful princess named Princess Tenderheart. Every day, Princess Tenderheart would play with her eight beautiful ponies. She named them Jasmine, Nimble, Sophie, and Polly, and Penny, and Sunny, and Monica. Her favorite pony of all was called Buttercup. Please, don't call him Buttercup. Call him, like, Ralph or something. Then one night, a terrible thing happened. A giant came and stole away poor little Jasmine. All the other ponies cried and cried, but Princess Tenderheart cried loudest of all. It was very sad. The very next night, the giant came and took Nimble and Sophie. Princess Tenderheart cried all day and refused to eat. Oh, please, get a grip, princess. Her father, the king, hired all the princes he could to protect the ponies. But night after night, another pony was taken away. The poor princess just sat in her room and turned straw into gold thread. She cried and cried and cried. And when Buttercup, only Buttercup was left, Princess Tenderheart thought her heart would break. Oh, who would protect Buttercup? That's it. I can't take it anymore. I'll tell the story from here. Dudes, one day this really cool muscle dude rides up to the castle on his motorcycle. He says he'll guard the last pony if the king gives him all the gold thread that the princess makes. The king says, okay, and the dude sits and waits for the giant. As if. He's not even cute or anything. So that night, the giant heads up to the castle. Man, this giant was an ugly dude. He was big and mean, and he had four teeth in his mouth that were all rotten and yellow and black. And his breath smelled like rotten, moldy, stinky, wet feet. That's just gross. He needs eight ponies to make a tasty pony stew, and he only has seven. So that night, he goes to steal the last horsey. The muscle dude has this really big sword. The giant and the dude battled all over the place. The earth was shaking, and there was lightning and thunder, and volcanoes were a Exploding. It was huge. Volcanoes? Where'd the volcanoes come from? Night after night, the giant comes back, but the dude beats him. Night after night, the princess makes gold thread and gives it to the dude. He gets really rich. The end. That's it? The princess just sits around making thread? Yep. I don't think so. I'll tell you what happened, butto. Princess Tenderheart goes to the gym and pumps iron. She becomes Princess Warrior. Very cool. She tells the dude to make his own thread. So that night, the princess has this huge and tremendous battle, and the giant runs back to his cave. The end. And the dude just sits there making gold thread. Nuh-uh. See, this is what really happened. The dude makes this really cool blanket out of the gold thread, and when he puts it over his head, he turns invisible. Then he goes to rescue the ponies. You can't see me. You can't see me. You can't see us. The princess goes with him. Ugh, fine. The dude and the princess get into this big fight over who gets to free the ponies. The giant hears voices and gets so scared he jumps off the cliff. Cool! Cool! So the princess and the prince fall in love. Who said he was a prince? That's what the stuff about love. They get married on a beautiful spring day and they have a baby. It was the most beautiful baby girl. Uh, nah. It was a boy. It was a girl. The end. <laughs>